finding the traps. We're finding the traps. In 2012, we were contacted by Michael Robinson to document and possibly film a trapping operation involving the critically endangered alpha female Mexican wolf of Fox Mountain Pack. We had been giving information of where the trapper might be, so we drove into the mountains of New Mexico and started to look for any signs of the USDA trapper. This is the story of what happened next. Looking for the wolves and the traps, but my friend has disappeared. I don't know where he is. So I'm kind of alone right now. We're finding the traps. We're finding the traps. Oh my god. So we found the trappers. And we're following them. Yeah, it looks like he's wearing a USDA uniform. How do you know it's the trapper? He said, I asked him. He's the trapper? I said, are you the trapper? And he said, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of. What happened? And did we run over some trucks? Um, yeah, um, I had a set right here. Uh, we ran over it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. It didn't hurt my trap. <gasps> this is multiple use, so don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> uh, Can we look at it? Um, I, I, I prefer you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Can, I, Can I just look at it? Sure. Yeah. Okay, sure. sure go ahead. Oh my god. We, we have a we have a removal order on the wolf here. I, I'd rather y'all not be in here because we do have a project going. I, okay. I can't tell you not uh, to, uh -huh. but I'd rather you not. I've got traps on this road and then the next road to the right. How many traps do you usually put out? Oh, it just depends yeah. on the situation. I had a visit right here. We'll come into this set here, so. Oh, mm -hmm. so. Is this private yep. land? No, this is national forest, and this is all wolf country. How yeah. many wolves are in the area here? Uh, there's about four or five in here. Oh, that's not much. Mm -hmm. So how many cows are there in the area then? Oh, I, I don't know for sure. There's several different ranchers in the area. I've got traps in here, and we're trying to we're trying to catch one particular wolf, and uh -huh. um, what it, happened it, with that it, wolf? it would help me. Uh, she has uh, been depredating on livestock. So what, does she have pups or? Uh, they're, yes, uh -huh. the pups are big enough that the male can raise them now. Mm -hmm. But this particular wolf that I'm trying to catch, uh, we'll, we'll remove her and put her in, put her in jail, so to speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in jail home? <laughs> yeah. After the encounter with the trapper, we left the area to go and meet up with Michael we're here in the, the northern part of the Gila, or actually we're in the Apache National Forest. It's the uh, territory for the Fox Mountain Pack of Mexican Gray Wolves. These are two three-year-old wolves, mated pair. Their yearling son, who was caught in a leg hold trap yesterday and outfitted with a radio collar and released. And uh, there are four pups from, from this year. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service first ordered the shooting of the mom. The, uh, the alpha female of the Fox Mountain Pack. That was uh, last week uh, because she had killed four head of cattle over a period of several months whose owner has already been uh, reimbursed for them. Most of what this pack is feeding on is elk. A huge public outcry. Hundreds, thousands of people perhaps called the Fish and Wildlife Service, called their members of Congress, and the next day the Fish and Wildlife Service rescinded the kill order but unfortunately, they said they're going to trap her 
and keep her in captivity the rest of her life, which is really about the same for uh, for her family. I mean, maybe, you know, I guess maybe it's a little better for the pups not to see her shot right in front of them, but is it that much better for them to see her, uh, see their mom being dragged away, put in a cage, and they'll never see her again? Fish and Wildlife Service, they tend to uh, largely follow what the livestock industry demands. And uh, the livestock industry has demanded the removal of this, this wolf. And um, Fish and Wildlife Service, despite the fact that they have a charge to, to recover the species, is willing to set it back once more after they've taken out dozens of wolves. They've, they've killed, they've shot 12 wolves, the government, uh, at Fish and Wildlife Service's order. Fish and Wildlife Service shot the very first one in May of 2001. Um, they've trapped dozens. Uh, 18 of the ones that they trapped, they accidentally killed as a result of the capture, including pups. Um, they've taken out entire packs, as they've done in the past. The whole pack. They've done that. And they've kept 32 wolves that were not killed as a result of capture. They've kept them in long-term captivity. And uh, nine of them so far have died of old age or age-related ailments. Uh, so that's what, you know, that's what faces this female if, if they get her. I mean, if you want to see what's happening with Mexican wolves, this is what's happening with Mexican wolves. Yeah. You know, Fish and Wildlife Service will never take a reporter or wildlife service out to a place like this. So they don't that. like that you were here, right? Oh, fuck. No, they'll be bummed when they find out about that. The only thing they could do is the Forest Service could issue a closure order. They could, they could delineate an area and say it's closed to, to the public. Um, but they haven't done so. so. We continued to hike around to see if we could find more traps to film and see if the alpha female had been caught. I don't think you got the female because they have to dive it first to get out of the snare. So this is not enough time for her to go to sleep. Yeah, it might be. We are on our way to um, go and find the trapper that just passed by here and see if he has caught the female wolf that have pups. Did it not go off until you picked it up or what? I didn't touch it. I stepped there. Oh, there's, there's poop there. That's what was the giveaway. Here's wolf tracks right here. Here's the wolf wolf. We saw the trapper in his car, behind the trees, setting up a new trap. This is a wolf trap, just set like five minutes ago by the wolf trapper. And this here is the road. This is a likely trap set for the alpha female of the Fox Mountain Pack. What you have here is um, possibly a scent post. You have a little smooth place, which would be the natural place for a wolf to uh, to, to step, to uh, go up and pee on that scent post. Probably has a little bit of a scent on it. In fact, I can smell a little bit from here. The wolf is gonna, he isn't going to want to step on all this debris. So he's going to step right here to sniff on that bait. It's a pretty clever setup. And uh, we're not going to touch it. We're not. We're not going to uh, get in the way of uh, of this activity. Uh, but this is just shows uh, you know a wolf innocently going around about her business. 
um, would not know that her freedom and her uh, her ability to spend time with her pups and with her, her mate uh, would end right there when she came to pee. And uh, permanent captivity for, for an animal who deserves to stay out here. So. <laughs> Unfortunately, this coyote got shot and killed while going about her life peacefully without bothering anyone. The trapper, the rancher with the dogs that was looking for us found us and escorted us out of the national forest. Jesus Christ! Okay, hold on, I'm gonna pull over. Oh my god! Get the whole herd here, here. I think he sent in those hounds after us. Yeah? To scare us out of there. Yeah. I bet you they did. <sighs> and now that we're out of there, they're coming out. I am. As soon as we got out, they, they left. left. They left. That's true. When we're gone, they're gone. Yeah. They were wa waiting for us to come out. Yeah, they were. Yeah, he was sitting there. Michael and I came back two weeks later to see if the trapper had caught the alpha female Mexican wolf. So right in there is the trapper's camp. We just passed it. Uh, you can see his truck from here. That's where he's based. Yeah, hopefully he won't follow me. It's almost seven o'clock at night. I'm up here by the traps again, by the road. I don't want to be seen. Uh, I just passed a trapper and he saw my car, but I don't think he knew it was me. So I'm gonna drive down and meet Michael Robinson. We're gonna go in the back way to try to film the traps again to see if they trapped that female female um, wolf. I'm all alone up here in the mountains. Anyway, I hope everything goes well. I keep filming. Um, we're, we're coming into uh, the territory of the T Fox Mountain pack of Mexican wolves uh, near, near Jones Peak. And uh, tell us what we're going to do today. We're going to film some a trapping operation, conceivably including a wolf in a federal trap. It's about um, quarter to six in the morning. It's fine though. We've got plenty of time. Oh my god! <laughs> so here we are again. Going to find the traps. Michael is ahead of me and we are walking in a ravine so that we can go on the back side. Nice, we got a trail. Perfect. Can I take this trail? Yeah. Let's look at the map and figure out where we are first. I think we saw one trap right at that intersection, at the base of that Ponderosa, and another right over there. We don't know for sure, of course, because they were under the ground and hidden if they were there. And uh, then we saw another likely trap spot right over here. I accidentally, accidentally stepped into a trap that was uh, about over here. That's when we were here two weeks ago. That was right in the middle of the road, of the National Forest Road. Did it not go off until you picked it up or what? I didn't touch it. I stepped there. No, I wasn't hurt. Uh, didn't even catch my boots. Sorry. Didn't even catch my boots. Uh, I just, I guess it must have been my heel or something hit it. There we are again with the trap. 
jobs that were down there, but are all down there. And uh, we're gonna try to find them. Yeah. We don't see any wolves just yet. You wanna walk up this little bit and just check it out? Yeah, I'm just gonna see if this trap is. It's right here. Check it out. No wolves in the trap. Looks like uh, the trap got moved, got uh, removed. Maybe, maybe uh, got another tra uh, wolf in there. Maybe the wrong wolf or something. Who knows? He removed every single track. Wait a minute. But he's put them somewhere else. Like, what's this? So I just. But they're, yeah, they're somewhere else. So here's. Walk down this way. Okay. Got traps for set for these these wolves all around here on the national forest on the public lands. The alpha female, she's she's managed to evade it. It's it's really remarkable her her canny and her uh, her her sense of her wariness, frankly. And the will to live. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the fundamental problem is a lack of people keeping an eye on their cows in wild country. There's really no reason they just couldn't leave the wolves out here. Long run, the alpha female of the Fox Mountain pack, I see no reason whatsoever that she should be removed from our national forest.